Well, this is my very first video I've ever made, and I'm not really into making videos, and I doubt I'll continue to make them very frequently, but I did want to give a review of a knife that is perhaps one of the most reviewed on YouTube and, and throughout the web in, in general. This knife is the Spyderco Tenacious, you can see the box here, and the reason I want to review it is because most of the reviews you're going to find out there are by people you know who are knife enthusiasts or into knives they're you know knife aficionados to be a little bit more fancy and um and i'm not really uh i bought this knife on the recommendation of a few friends and also based upon a lot of research on the web and some web reviews i was looking for a uh, pretty substantial knife that wasn't very substantial in its price um and definitely looking for a high value knife frankly i don't have the money to pay for it nor do I have need, honestly. Um, my knife needs are pretty limited. I don't have to cut stuff very often. Uh, I use a knife maybe a couple times a week, if that. Um, but I wanted to have one with me, just in case. Um, I haven't really been carrying around one for quite a while now, and uh, it was time for a replacement. So here we have the Spyroco, uh Tenacious, and um, this I just got today. I've already wasted like a minute and a half just talking with the box in view, so let's just get in here and, and um, get this puppy open. Um, I actually, in terms of full disclosure, hate this packaging. I know the packaging is not particularly important because the knife is what counts, but you know, it says something about a company when they put those extra little efforts into their boxes. You know, it's not necessary, but it just says something about their commitment to quality when they go that extra mile and put a little bit more detail and care into their boxing and, and here Spyderco really hasn't kind of disappointing for a company of their reputation the box is really quite bland and the only thing that has any noteworthiness to it is the um, the embossment right here for their spider logo the rest of it's really quite cheap seeming and it's just not very impressive so forgive me I just don't think the packaging um, really warrants much praise if any at all but we're interested in the knife so let's get to it my first thoughts are that um it is a little bit bigger than i was realizing i don't think that'll pose a problem but um i'm finding this pocket clip uncomfortable you know i think i'm just going to take this off altogether i don't really have a need for a pocket clip um I don't really envision using this in some instance where I'm going to have to... I don't want this clipped on my pocket. I don't really want people knowing I have it. Um, and having a clip like that on the outside of my pocket is going to give it away. Um, and you might ask, well, you might say, uh, you could just put your shirt over it. You don't need to have it in view. Just, you know, put your shoe over it. Shoe, sorry. Put your shirt over it or, you know, cover it up with something. Well, I can't really do that. I work in a, um, a fairly professional environment. I have to wear a suit, um... I have to have my shirt tucked in, um, and I don't know that um, just having my, my suit jacket on at all times would conceal this, even if I were to do that. Um, I definitely don't wear my suit jacket when I'm in the office all that often, unless I need to go to a meeting or whatever, so I don't really see how this clip isn't going to stand out. I don't really want people knowing I'm going to have it. Uh, I think I'll just carry it down the pocket, but I don't think that'll be a big problem, because I keep my pockets pretty empty, and this is a fairly thin knife, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm just going to take that clip off. It's really actually, it's, I'm starting to hate it more and more as I handle it. It's just in the wrong place. It's just, even if we're down here, and you can see they have drilling, they have holes. Um, you can kind of see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see the holes there. I just, no, I'm not feeling it. Let's get it open. I'm sorry, I'm going to flick that open. For right now, I don't know if this will get better, um, but I know that people, some people have said that it kind of takes a little bit of breaking in. Um, plus, I have pretty small hands. I don't really want... See, I don't want my fingers in there like that. I, I don't like that. Um, I'm not going to do that, partly because I've seen videos of people reviewing this exact same knife and getting cut while doing it. Um, I don't want to become one of those people, so I'm going to be a little play it safe with this knife um, yeah it's gonna need some breaking in at the very least it's not lightning fast out of the box know that know that much you know another thing that's bothering me about this aside from the pocket clip I don't really care about the lightning fast withdrawal I 
I don't, you know, I, I just need like a, a standard sort of, you would say, everyday carry knife. I, I don't need something that's going to come out ridiculously fast. Um, but, you know, the finishing on this is not very nice. It's sort of uneven. Don't you think? I look at that. I am a detail-oriented person. I deal with a job where I have to pay attention to a lot of details. And I am maybe a little bit more so than other people, but... The finishing is not particularly impressive here. Maybe that's just what you get when you pay this little money for a knife, but... I, I mean, come on. This just came out of the box, and you see that? It's kind of like... There's some sort of residue up there, and... It's just not very impressive the way that this was ground when they when they ground the knife. I'm not very impressed with that. Maybe that's the price I pay for buying a uh, low-end knife. It's, you know, this is sort of like the... I had to say, this knife makes me feel like... I was hoping to get sort of the C-Class. You know, Mercedes is a company that makes really nice cars, but their C-Class has often garnered a lot of ridicule because it's what well, kind of a stupid car. It's like their lowest-end car. It doesn't really have their best technology in it. It's not particularly a very good sedan. Um, I mean, it's a fine sedan, but it's not worth the money you pay for it. And, you know, it sells just because it has the Mercedes logo. I kind of feel like the Spider Co. Tenacious might be the, the C-series of Mercedes. <laughs> it might be like that, because it's not really... God damn it. It's not really impressing me in terms of its quality and construction. Um, I mean, I don't have anything with, wrong with... The handle's fine. The pocket clip annoys me, but that's a design flaw. That's not, like, a construction issue. Um... The quote-unquote jumping, or as I'm going to call it, notching, uh, is is fine. Um, it does a great job of keeping the finger from moving. That's going to be fine. The notching on the inside of the liner lock is also sufficient. It's perfectly fine. You know, if I were to bang this knife, it's not going to accidentally fly back into my hand and cut me. Um, it's locked up fine. So the lock-up mechanism is perfectly acceptable. Um... But I'm mostly I'm interested in the cutting capabilities, so with this last few minutes left, let's just see how it cuts some stuff. Um, give me a second here, because I'm trying to do this with my iPhone. Well, let me see if I can um, come up with a solution. If I can, I'll sort of splice it in here. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's an okay knife. I don't think it was a waste of my time or money to order it. But um, if you're looking for quality, I would not go with this. Personally, I'm not being very impressed. So far, it's fine. It's sufficient. It's mediocre. But you know what? Um, sufficiency is not really where I want to be. I want I want something that's beyond just sufficient. I want something that's nice and high quality. This may not be quite as high a value as, as it was sold to be. Um, I wouldn't pay 50 or 60 bucks for this knife. I'd pay 30 And that's basically what I did. So let me see if I can splice in some cutting uh, footage here. But generally speaking... It's an alright knife. We'll see how it goes. Um, as a non-knife person, uh, I don't have a whole lot of authority to speak here, but I wanted to give you my views. Maybe you are thinking about buying this, and you aren't, um, you know, you aren't really, you know, super familiar with the knife market, or maybe you just want a different opinion, because most of the people that review these are very into them, and, and maybe you want a different take. I hope to have provided that. I mean, I like a lot of it, um... I'm kind of wishing it had that sort of Kershaw skyline thumb thing in the back. I'm finding that this hole is not really my favorite thing in the in the world. I was really looking forward to that hole. I was going to be uh, excited to use it, but in retrospect, just trying to work it here, maybe it's because I have small hands, or maybe it's just more um, because the blade needs to be broken in. I don't know. It's not really rubbing me the right way, but, you know, I'll give it some time. We'll see. Just my thoughts fresh out of the box. Um hopefully providing a new perspective on this and one that you might not find uh, otherwise on the web. Most people who make these, they go out and go to the effort of making the video because they're really excited about it. Um, so they're kind of a biased sample. I wanted to help maybe offset a little bit that bias and, and hear my thoughts. I might post a second video if I can figure out how to uh, how to both cut things and hold my iPhone at the same time. But so far they're my thoughts. I think it's a good knife for the price. Um, but I'm not especially impressed with its construction. So hopefully this was helpful, and if it wasn't, well, I don't know. Sorry for wasting 10 minutes of your time. Bye-bye.